Are you struggling with loading entity sublists in Android Room? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many developers face when trying to optimize their database queries. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you want to avoid multiple queries, but aren't sure how to achieve that efficiently. This is a challenge many developers encounter, and it's important to find the right solution. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I load the locales list automatically in the region entity without running two separate queries? This is a great question and one that can really streamline your database interactions. To understand the issue, let's look at the entities involved. You have a region entity that contains a list of locale entities. The challenge is how to efficiently load these related entities without making multiple database calls. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have a solid solution that will save you time and improve your app's performance. To load the locales list automatically within the region entity, the user can utilize a relationship mapping in Room. This can be achieved by creating a new data class that combines both region and its associated locales. Next, the user should modify the DAO to include a new query that retrieves the region along with its associated locales. This will allow for a single query to fetch all necessary data. Now the user can call this new method in their application to retrieve the region entities along with their corresponding locales in one go. This eliminates the need for multiple queries. Lastly, the user should ensure that their database schema is correctly set up to support these relationships. This includes verifying that the foreign keys are properly defined in the locale entity. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of a database was first introduced in the 1960s? Just like technology, our approaches to database management have evolved significantly. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that type converters in Android Room should only use static methods. They recommend adding the at ignore annotation to the locales property in the region entity. Instead, create a method in Room Locale DAO to insert a list of locales after inserting a region. They also mention that the insert method for region can return the inserted ID, which can be useful for inserting related locales. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative solution suggests using a single query to retrieve all regions along with their associated locales. This can be achieved by creating a new data class called region with locale. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. An alternative solution provided by another user involves using a list converter class. This class utilizes JSON to convert a list of weather objects to a JSON string and vice versa. By applying the type converter annotation, you can easily manage the serialization of your list within the entity. In the entity, you can define a property for the weather list and annotate it with at serialized name and at type converters. This allows Room to automatically handle the conversion when querying the database. And here's a pro tip. Always consider the performance implications of your queries. Optimizing your database interactions can lead to a smoother user experience in your app. And there you have it. By using a single query to load your entities, you can improve your app's performance and make your code cleaner. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.